law system is a legal system derived from the customary law system that is based on case law. So how does this work? So um, when judges make a decision, their decision becomes law and it becomes even more important than the written legislation that a country or state may have. So this is partially because uh, in many of the countries where this, where this type of law is applied, customary law has a big importance. The customs of country practices are not legislated. So when a good judge makes a decision to ratify these customs, it automatically becomes more important than the written legislation that follows. Knowing what the common law system consists of, we must know that it may differ depending on the country that it is applied. A good, uh, good example would be the difference between the common law system in the USA and the system in the UK. In the USA there's a constitution, while in the UK there isn't. Also, there's only one type of lawyer in the USA, while in the UK there are two types of lawyers, the solicitors and the baristas. The solicitors are uh, the, the uh, litigator type, while the baristas are not. The solicitors go to the baristas to uh, make references to. Um, also, there is uh, in the UK system, the judges decide whether uh, a case must go into criminal court, while in the USA they don't. Uh, in the USA, to graduate from law, you must need a bachelor and a juris doctor, while in the UK, you only need a bachelor. Also, in the UK system, the jurors for the trials are uh, chosen randomly, while in the USA, there is a method of pick, uh, for picking them. So, uh, let's talk about doctrine of precedent. This is how it works. When a judge is making a decision on a certain case, he must take into account the previous decisions other judges have made on similar cases. This is to maintain uniformity in all the decisions made, so that there are not conflicting decisions and that they may represent the bigger law and the bigger customs that are being protected in that uh, legal system. And it, also, and it is also very important to point out that when that judge makes the decision, it will become law, so that other judges can make the decision based on this current decision being made. So it's very important that judges take this into account. In the UK, we have the first instant courts that are the tribunal services that are in charge of the more common and simple cases. Then we have the, the, the magistrate court that are in charge of also criminal cases and civil cases. When appellation to the magistrate decision comes, the, the civil cases go to the county courts and the criminal cases go to the Crown Court. When the civil cases or the criminal cases are appealed in the county court or the Crown Court, they go to the High Court. The High Court have division of, of three types of, of courts. The Chancery Division, the Family Division and the Queen's Bench Division. When appellation on, on one of these instances of the High Court comes, then the case goes to the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal have two divisions, the Civil Division and the Criminal Division. If there is also an appellation of one of the decisions in the two divisions, the case goes to the Supreme Court that is, also, of course, the final instance. Different from the UK, the US have another system that also have the division in Criminal Courts and Civil Courts, but with District Courts, then Court of Appeal, and then a Supreme Court of each state, and finally, the Supreme Court of the federal government. And finally, now knowing how the common law system is based, and what it consists of, and how it may vary, we should know the difference between the common law system and the civil law system. First will be that the legal system of the common law system is based on case law, while the civil law system, the legal system, is based on codified principle. Uh, the common law system uh, has a big emphasis on court decision, while the civil law system has a big emphasis on written law. Also, a constitution is required for the civil law system, while the common law system it isn't. Uh, a good example would be the United Kingdom, as we've seen before. In the common law system, jurisprudence plays a major factor, while the civil law system it doesn't. And the precedent in the common law system also plays a major factor in the law, but in the civil law system, only place in constitutional matter.